Nothing's the same as it used to be. Nothing's the same as it used to be. I, I'm glad I grew up when I grew up. I'd hate to be a kid growing up now. Halloween was my favorite holiday. So I read this year. Now, everything's complicated now. This year I read about a school had 300 kids in the school. And every year for 40 years, they let the kids wear a costume to school on Halloween. It's their favorite day of the year. We get to wear a costume to school. I love this day. I, but they didn't do it this year. You know why? 300 kids in school. One kid's parents complained. We don't celebrate Halloween. We're offended. We're, we're, we're insulted. So the geniuses at the school said, we don't want to offend that one child. Let's hurt the feelings of 299 other kids who just want to wear a costume to school. See, in the old days when people were rational and used common sense, you take the one kid aside and you go, look, apparently your parents have a problem with Halloween. That's their business. But I want you to know we're going to go ahead with our little festivities because the kids would be disappointed. And you don't even have to participate. In fact, you could stay home that day. But if you change your mind and you want to be part of our little costume party, you could always shove a giant stick up your ass and come to school dressed up like your miserable fucking parents. How about nobody? Doesn't make sense. They got kids, 300 kids in the school. One kid got a peanut allergy. 299 kids can't take a peanut butter and jelly sandwich to school. I think this year, all the kids with peanut allergies go to the same fucking school. Make the peanut companies pay for it. The Planters Public School with the Jif <laughs> Gymnasium and the Reese's Pieces Recreation Center. The school model. We help kids come out of their shell. They can play in a league with the lactose intolerant lions and the gluten free giants. Go nuts, go nuts. Give it to them chunk style. Give it to them chunk style. They ruin Thanksgiving. Ruin, ruin Thanksgiving. I want my little nephew's, uh, he's got a little woke friend. I says, hey, where, where are you, where's your family celebrating Thanksgiving? We don't celebrate Thanksgiving. Why? Because the colonists, they came to this place and they, they wiped out the Indians. They were bad people. I go, wait a second. Weren't you, were you happy when they changed the name of the Redskins and the Cleveland Indians? Oh, yes, I was. And, and you cheered when they took the Indian off the butter box? Oh, yeah. And, and you don't like the kids to dress up like Indians on Halloween? Oh, yeah, that's cultural appropriation. Well, who's wiping out the fucking Indians now? You are. That's a, they're not going to be fucking... Let me, I'm the new American Indian. There's very few of me gonna be left in a few years. I wouldn't be offended if they had a team called the Washington White Guys or the fucking Cincinnati fighting Caucasians. I can see it now, a fucking football helmet with a guy in the football helmet and he's got a shirt and tie going to work. They wreck everything, wreck, wreck Christmas, Christmas Day. I, they put a beautiful manger in my town with the wise men, the sheep, the, the three wise men, the baby Jesus. I go down the next day, there's angry people protesting, take down the manger, take down the manger. I said, oh my God, this is horrible. Somebody recognized me, he said, hey, you're the comedian. Do something about this. Said, what the fuck am I gonna do? He said, think of something, think of something. I said, ooh, I got an idea. So I went up to the protester, excuse me, take down the manger. He said, no, 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 I think you're making a big mistake. Those are not biblical figures in the, in the major. Those are refugees. I go back the next week, the manger had Wi-Fi and a flat screen TV. The three wise men are collecting food stamps and they put the baby Jesus up in the Holiday Inn for fucking nothing, for nothing. They ruined all the holidays, ruined the holidays. Father's Day, Mother's Day, you couldn't visit your father, couldn't visit your mother. I had a great father, but every time I went to buy my father Father's Day card, I'd go in Hallmark, CVS, every card said the same thing. Best dad in the world, number one dad, world's greatest. I realized there's bad parents, but they don't have bad parent greeting cards, you know? <laughs> I want to start my own greeting card company. Instead of Hallmark, the Palmark company. The brutally honest collection. The kid goes in the store, look, there's one of those Palmark bad parent cards to our absentee father on Father's Day. Thanks for not being there for us. You work nights and weekends, so you're never at home. It really wouldn't kill you just to pick up the phone. You never show up at our Little League games. We're surprised that you even remember our names. 
We'd have no man in our life, that is for sure, if mom wasn't banging the guy living next door. Oh, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. Oh, there's another Paul Mark bad parent cards. To our new stepmother from your stepsons, you're growing on us. When our daddy first met you, he showed our mother the door. Maybe that's why our real mom always calls you a whore. <laughs> you're young and you're pretty, but you're not very bright. You don't cook us dinners or read us stories at night. You pout like a baby just to get your own way. You have our dad by the balls, we are sorry to say. But we are willing to put up with all your tantrums and fits because our daddy just bought you a new set of tits. Oh, that's so sweet. That is so sweet.